no secret that Kenya Moore's marriage to Mark Daly was one of the most awkward that we've ever seen on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mark. I've never seen them lovey-dovey. It's always like, he's standing over here, she's standing over here. It's almost like it's an agreement. And after separating in 2019, it's really felt like this divorce litigation has literally lasted much longer than their actual marriage. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And today, we have to talk about how Kenya Moore is finally completely divorced from that clown and what that means for her future on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kenya Moore sent Team Twirl and other Housewives fans in a tizzy after she posted this cryptic message on her Instagram story talking about, Good morning, Team Twirl. Today is an important day for me as I wish to close one chapter in my life as I open another. Please pray for closure for my family and a positive outcome. With love and hope, Kenya. And at first, I was like, ooh. Not Kenya getting called down to Andy's office to sign that NDA for her old nasty severance package. But then I reread the post and I realized that she mentioned her family and opening another chapter and all that. And I immediately realized that this post is kind of giving divorce party vibes. People are always talking, but what happens when the talk isn't cheap and it is what it is? Well, what I mean by this is, man, I wouldn't want to be in her shoes after this. People Magazine officially broke the story about Kenya Moore and Mark Daly being officially divorced after more than three years of private litigation, sharing an official statement from Kenya that reads, I want to thank everyone who prayed for and uplifted me when I needed it the most. I'm excited for this new chapter in my life and being the best mom that I can be for my daughter, Brooklyn. As a hopeless romantic, I still believe my forever person exists and I know I'll have my happily ever after ending after all. Yes, sir! Okay, your name is Jesus. Yeah. It's a really bittersweet moment because while so many of us are really excited that Kenya Moore can finally move on to bigger and better things, it's really hard at the same time not to feel really sad about this situation because y'all, I know that Kenya really loved that man. I could have been happy in my marriage if I felt like Mark was in it to be happy as well. And I know how hard I've fought for this marriage. I was happy to learn from Radar Online that Kenya Moore's ex-husband Mark Daly will no longer be throwing a fit about their daughter Brooklyn filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Happy birthday to Brooklyn! <laughs> yes. Alright, there we go. Yep. Okay, yep. Perfect. Say hi. hi Bro say hi, Brooklyn. Despite him making such a big deal about it previously, which reportedly was the main thing that drug out this exhausting divorce. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, Kenya and Mark agreed that she could continue to have Brooklyn appear in future seasons so long as Kenya keeps Mark in the loop. This is a huge win for Kenya now that the courts have given her that final authority to make that decision. It was previously reported that she had to get Mark's permission every single time that she wanted Brooklyn to film, even though Kenya says that Mark barely even does more than a FaceTime call to see her. So I always felt that that was really crazy to me. You're not worried about that? And y'all already know that Team Twirl has been twirling for their queen ever since talking about. Congratulations, Kenya Moore, on finalizing that long behind divorce process. Now, Mark and his nose ring can leave you the hell alone. You are out of pocket. And another fan was smiling ear to ear at the thought of Kenya being able to live her best life again, tweeting. Kenya Moore is finally divorced, exclamation point. All of us in Team Twirl are very happy for her. We cannot wait to see what's in store for her in this next chapter with her life personally and professionally. 
before some fans were calling for divorce party content, talking about, oh, Cynthia is planning Kenya's divorce party today, exclamation point. <laughs> and y'all had me over here screaming over these petty comments talking about, it's funny how some of y'all say Kenya's marriage was fake, but at the same time, you believe the divorce is real, exclamation point. I cannot. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Before this one fan was over there manifesting talking about. Today has been declared the official Kenya Moore International Day of Freedom and Independence. And y'all already know that Team Twirl was reposting this video of Meg The Stallion going up for Kenya Moore on her International Day of Freedom and Independence. Somebody said, who was your favorite housewife? Kenya Moore. Kenya. Kenya is my favorite housewife. And I think she an Aquarius. And she be having everybody fucking mad because she just a bad bitch. And I love Kenya. Megan Moore. I'm gone with the wind. Twirl. Anyways. <laughs> Stream Pink Friday 2. <laughs> Naturally, this makes us think about what the future really holds for Kenya Moore now that she's back in these streets. And I know that some of you guys are wondering how this affects the future of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I know that this may be an unpopular opinion, but I kind of feel like the timing could not have been any worse. And I'm gonna tell you why. If I look at the history of how I have been treated on this show, your guess is as good as mine. Right now, I feel like Bravo is really making it really clear that they really don't care at all. And I don't think that they even thought about bringing up the cameras to at least get some type of reaction content from the girls. That way they can use it if they decide to bring our girls back in the future or whatever. It's never gonna happen because they barely covered it on their own website, posting this quick little three minute read about it and like directing people on over to People Magazine if they really wanted a little bit more of an effort put into this story. That's why I think that it's really weird that Mark was sitting over there fighting so hard to keep Brooklyn off the Real Housewives of Atlanta because sis, your ex-wife is over here fighting for her life to be included on the show her damn self and you're sitting over there worried about Brooklyn filming? <laughs> Cat's eyelashes, blank stare. Mm. This one has a little sweetness to it. I know, I know. It's really unfortunate, but you know, I think it's time to just call it what it is. And a lot of these storylines from our fave Atlanta girls are just to say it but they're done so they're done so babe it's time to wrap it up and i just feel like this really is one of those examples where they're making a strong case for a reboot in my opinion but there has been no official word on what's even happening with the real housewives of atlanta so relax sis relax um can i have some more wine <laughs> <laughs> can i have more wine i hate it here it's a bad time Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Are you happy that Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are finally completely divorced? Also, be sure to tell me what you think all this means for Kenya's future on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. You think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid feel so useless If we don't got that obsessive love Then what we doing? I don't ask for much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden When I tell you how I'm hurting No, you just take your story to take your day I ain't over it So let me take my time and talk my shit
just wanted some time with you Something you never had the time to do Made me feel like I'm a burden 